Hello, my name is Tim Schabel. I'm the Fire Chief with Clay Fire, and I'd like to welcome you to our first official episode of the Clay Fire Vlog. Uh, we're really excited to have this program up and running. As we talked about in the pilot program, we're going to use this as an opportunity to, to really communicate with you, our community, and share some of the, the many things that happen each day here at Clay Fire. Uh, in this episode, our, our Fire Marshal Dave Sharon is going to share uh, this month's safety message, and that's child safety. So. Uh, Dave's going to share with you some tips that you can use to make sure that we keep the, uh, the children in our community safe. Uh, we really hope you enjoy this. Uh, this is going to be one of many this year, and uh, we look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you. Good morning. What we're going to take a look at is how to kids safe your house with some simple movements, simple rules and for not much money. And the very first thing is to see what kids see, you need to get down at their level and start crawling around. We recommend this for, for parents, for caregivers, and especially for babysitters. So we're just gonna look around at things that you normally wouldn't see from your height. And one of those jumps out is an outlet that's uncovered that kids easily would wanna maybe plug things in there. So outlet covers, pretty simple to get. Now, holiday time, guess what? We probably still have things <laughs> like this that look great, but they're pretty inviting to small kids because they easily reach these things that we know are artificial, but they don't, and everything is going to end up in a toddler's mouth. We've known for years to keep matches and lighters up high and someplace safe. And the other thing, guess what? You know what? Again, things like change that may have dropped out of your pocket, holiday time, hangers from Christmas ornaments and our candies. One of the other things that is an issue, <laughs> anything that is plugged in and the cords are visible to kids that they either can pull on, trying to pull themselves up, and trying to reach whatever's up here. So keep in mind, just move those around. We've, we've just fixed a number of hazards for nothing but the cost of time. And everybody knows that that's a lot cheaper than an ER visit. So now we're in the kitchen. Uh, <laughs> usually it's a place where people think it's cute that their kids are getting in the, in the cupboards to play with the pots and pans. But guess what? You have the whole chemistry lab underneath your sink. And they are items that are not required to be safety restrained. The pods that are used, we already know the issues with that. Uh, oven cleaners, scouring powders, anything that has bright and colorful labeling is going to attract kids. Take those things, <laughs> put them in containers that have snap lids on them, making it easier for you uh, to keep track of them, but also hard for them to get into. One of the things that's becoming a big problem is doors on appliances such as stoves, <laughs> and dishwashers where kids can easily open them up, climb on top, and the appliance falls over. For less than $5, you get these pretty simple systems that you can put in place. And you can get in and out, but they can't. So let's take a look in the bathroom and see what you can fix in there. Bathroom on our hands and knees, one, because guess what? Some people have medications, whether they're prescription or they're over the counter, and not all of those medications are in child safe containers. Put those things up and out of the way. And guess what? Get down and look because there's probably times when you were taking medication that you dropped some of it and you never bothered to pick it up. Well, guess what? They're going to pick it up. And what does it normally look like? Something they've eaten before. So in this room, We've got the hazard of the water. Again, we got some cleaning supplies underneath and medications. Simple thing you can do with the bathrooms is make sure that each time you're done in there, you just keep the door closed. So we're in the bedroom. We're still on our hands and knees. A lot of things fall on the floor in the bedroom. Jewelry, <coughs> uh, some of the same things, decorations and things that you have in a living room. But one of the biggest hazards is tip over of furniture. When kids are easily able to open drawers, and climb inside and overcomes the dresser or the piece of furniture that you have. Very simply, every piece of furniture that's sold in the United States for its first sale comes 
with straps and a system that you can connect to the back of the furniture and to the wall so it doesn't tip over. That's one of the things when you buy furniture from secondhand stores or garage sales, they're not coming with this. So these are easily picked up at any, any all-purpose store. Uh, and they're less than $5, and guess what? Again, that's a lot less than the cost of an ER visit. In 2013, Clay Fire started a project to standardize our engine companies. Completed in December 2019, Clay Fire now has five essentially identical frontline engine companies. All are four-person cabs with full LED emergency light packages. Manufactured by E1, our Typhoon model engines are powered by Cummins ISL 450 diesel engines. 1,500 gallons of water and 50 gallons of Class A foam supply the water's 1,500 GPM cast pumps. All engines are ALS certified for EMS and with a thousand feet of five inch supply hose and over 1100 feet of attack hose, these engines are ready to serve Clay Fire territory and its citizens. December was a busy month for Clay Fire. Run totals were three fires, 226 EMS calls, and 109 miscellaneous calls, including citizen assists, hazmat, and mutual aid. 2019 ended with Clay Fire responding to 4,807 total calls. The month held several events. The dedication and pushing in of Engine 23, kids Christmas party for the kids of Clay Fire, Our Christmas card posts on Facebook were a big success as well. We'll see you next month. Until then, don't forget to click subscribe. Click the bell icon for notifications. If you like what you see, click that like button and share with your friends. Thank you as always for supporting Clay Fire.